In this video, I'm going to be testing out four different consumer tire dressings or tire science and see which one is the best of all. I'm also going to be sharing tips and tricks on how to get the best performance from any dressings you choose to use. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. And if you are new here, I am Randy with Beyond Limits of Palm Beach and Mobile Detailing. Don't not get straight the bus straight. Hey. Don't not get straight the bus straight. Don't not get straight the bus straight. You don't get shit straight, you don't straighten it. Before we move on and bring out the tire dressings, I'd like to share with you a key factor in the applying a tire dressing process. In order to maximize your durability and get the best out of your dressings, you first have to make sure you prep your tire surface, and that means to clean and degrease your tires appropriately. To make it quick and simple, I like to use super clean at a three to one dilution ratio, or if I have the aerosol can in hand, I would just go ahead and use that straight out of the can. Again, this is important and vital to the durability of your tire dressings of choice, as this step here will clean your tire surface and remove any previous tire dressings or its residues beforehand. Real quick guys, let me take a moment to let you know of a software that I've been using these past couple of months in my detailing business. I just want to point out that when I'm out detailing a car, I like to focus a lot on getting the job done and getting it done right. I am always out in the field working all day, and the last thing I want to do is spend the rest of my day doing more office work and trying to figure out how to do it effectively. That is why I now use Jobber, a service management software that allows you to manage your business and customer communication all in one place. One of my favorite features within this software used to be the customer request forms, but honestly, they just put out a new online booking feature that you can basically plug into your website, landing page, or even Google page. And this is where any potential customer can check out your services you offer, your different prices, and see what your schedule looks like in order to go ahead and book an appointment themselves. So the fact that you have online booking, the fact that you can individually code, give estimates, or in with your customers, and even accept card payments all in this one software or app blows my mind how easy it's made out for us service-based businesses, such as mobile detailing, and not only us, again, and they can also apply to landscapers, handymans, and even housekeepers, just to give you a few examples. Now, if you want to learn more, guys, make sure to click the link down in the description to check Jobber out. And by using my unique link, you'll be able to receive a free 14-day trial and even an exclusive discount of 20% off your first six months if you choose to subscribe. So you're welcome, guys. Now, back to the video. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I have my super clean aerosol can here on the ground as it was a tire brush. And as you can see now, my first step is to apply some of that super clean onto the tire itself, apply it to the wall of the tire. Now we're just letting it dwell for a couple of seconds. I've actually waited for about 20 seconds full here. Now we're gonna go ahead and agitate all that solution onto the tire itself. And as you can see, it turns all brown. It means it's really dirty. And we're just making sure that we get all the nooks and crannies and clean it very well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off all that solution off the tire to a super clean and fresh surface. And finally, when we finish rinsing, guys, we're gonna go ahead and dry the tire. And this step here is very crucial, guys, because you wanna dry your tires and not leave any water behind in order to properly apply your tire dressing later. Now, for our tire dressing, guys, many of you know there's basically two types in this category, and that is water based, the other being solvent based dressings. Basically, solvent based tire dressings tend to last longer and are usually more shinier as well as a bit water resistant. Water based tire dressings, on the other hand, don't tend to last that long, but overall are considered to be way more safe to use and they can give more of a matte look. But some water based dressings can give that somewhat of a glossy look if you choose to go that route. Now, personally, I use both from time to time. I wouldn't necessarily say this one is my favorite, but I definitely use it more than the other, and that is water based dressings that is just more simple to deal with and safe which is big for me as well as water-based dressings don't really sink compared to solvent-based dressings which is infamous for slinging onto the car's paint now for our tire dressings we're going to be performing this test with untouchable by crystal product which is a solvent-based dressing for four dollars then we have mcguire's hot tire shine for eight dollars we also have vrp from chemical guys which is water-based and twelve dollars and last but not least mcguire's endurance gel which is solvent-based for fourteen dollars Again, we want to apply these on a clean and dry tire. So now that we have properly cleaned and degreased the tire walls, guys, let's go ahead and apply these dressings. We have four different tire dressings and we're going to use one for each tire of a vehicle. First one up to the table, guys, VRP from Chemical Guys. So for VRP, some may like that perfect balance, not too glossy, but in the event that you want to add some extra gloss, guys, you simply want to add another layer after a couple of minutes of the first application. Second in line, guys, we have here Untouchable by Crucial Products. This product here came at $4, so let's go ahead and start this product. I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly remove any excess product, guys. Lightly with no pressure, as well as rub it in, work it in, because we don't want this product to sling when we go ahead and drive the vehicle.
I just have you a clean microfiber towel, guys. You can use a microfiber sponge as well. However, if you have a microfiber towel that you want to get rid of, you can also use that, guys. Up next, guys, we have McGuire's Hot Shine Tire Coating. Again, guys, for any dressing, if you wish to remove any excess, simply go over it with the microfiber towel with little to no pressure. Here I have a clean microfiber towel. All I'm gonna do is slide it over the surface. I don't wanna remove it. I just wanna work it in and remove any excess. Last but not least, we have here McGuire's Endurance Tire Gel. Again, I have here a microfiber towel folded, uh, replacing basically a microfiber sponge. And all I'm gonna do is apply my tire gel onto the actual microfiber towel, guys. Spread it around a bit. It is a kind of a thick gel. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and apply it onto our actual tire. So after 30 full minutes of the dressings being applied onto the tires, guys, we're gonna go ahead and drive around for about five minutes straight and see if right out of that we notice anything from either of the tires. So whether the tire dressings sling, whether they get removed, whether they collect dust, we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Okay guys, so after completing this test and applying one tire dressing to each of a tire on a vehicle, I think I have a clear winner. And the clear winner, in my opinion, thus far would be Meguiar's Hot Shine Tire Shine. However, the real test comes in the durability and longevity. So stay tuned for a YouTube short where I'll be updating you guys with the long-term durability to see which one out of all these four lasted the longest. I was a bit surprised that the Endurance Tire Gel from Meguiar's didn't do the best just because it's the most expensive one. Uh, I'm a bit surprised of how well the $4 one did as well. And for VRP guys, this is a water-based tire dressing at the end of the day guys, so I wasn't too shocked of how it did. Uh, I only really use VRP on the interior of a vehicle and not the exterior. So for the tires, I wouldn't really use VRP, but to each their own guys. And here we have all four of these. So let me know which one you guys think would do the best down in the comments, as well as if you tried either of these guys, which one is your go-to and why exactly? And that's going to be a wrap for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, make sure you guys smash the like button, leave a comment down below, and press that subscribe button, as well as hit the notification bell button to join my notification squad. Thanks again for watching, guys. Watch another video down here. As always, guys and girls, see you on the next one.